Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about vegan beauty, baby, and not just any vegan beauty, but the Kylie Jenner skincare. I'm really excited to actually talk about this because there's been so much backlash in the last couple of months that it's literally crazy. Like the girl can't even breathe without somebody coming at her neck about her vegan beauty products. Um, people were coming at her when the products weren't even off the shelf. And so I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna suck it up. I'm gonna go get these products. Um, I didn't order them online because they were still sold out, but luckily for me, the Ulta and Seaberg actually sold them. So I did not get them in this pretty pink box that people are talking about. I actually got them in a beautiful pink bag. So without further ado, let's start talking about Kylie Jenner skincare. Okay guys, like I said, my products came in this pink bag. If you're out there and you're going through breast cancer, we are definitely with you this month. First, I'm going to go ahead and pull out the face wash. The face wash is actually in this really cute ombre packaging. Apparently, this is her favorite one. Um, I have yet to actually open any of these products, so I'm just literally doing everything with you guys. Um, it's super cute. I know you guys have probably seen the bottle on social media and stuff like that. But she totally suggests that you just use one pump. So I'm going to go ahead and follow because this is Kylie Skin. Oh, just one. Oh, wait. <laughs> okay, try that again. There we go. Just like one pump. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and wet my face a little bit. We're just gonna rub it in. It's super foamy and I really like that and like really creamy, which means like I really feel like it's just gonna do the job. A lot of face companies that use foam, it's really just filled with lots of water, which makes the foam like go away and it doesn't necessarily stay. So this is something that I really like. I think I'm gonna use a little bit more actually. Okay, so like two and a half ups, but like you don't have to. Oh yeah. Dramatic change. Okay, so there we go. And like, there's still some access on my on my hands, but like, just remember that it's usually just one pump. But I just opened the bottle, so about like two pumps for it to really like come out. So now I'm gonna go ahead and wash my face. All right, so now that I've washed my face, I'm gonna go ahead and use my pink towel. Um, I'm gonna pat, I'm not necessarily gonna rub because rubbing can really irritate your skin. So just pat, patting it dry is actually a lot better for your skin. All right. So the next is her exfoliant, which is the walnut scrub. And there's been a lot of debate about this because St. Ives actually just suffered a lawsuit like a couple months ago about two women who claimed that it ruined their skin. Um, so it was eventually dropped because the judge ruled that there wasn't enough sufficient evidence. Um, so when Kylie Jenner was like, oh, walnut scrub, um, they were like, okay, no, like this is a terrible idea. Like, didn't you see what just happened? But um, if you look at this picture, you can see the particles are smaller in Kylie Jenner's walnut scrub versus St. Ives. That actually really helps because when the particles rub against your face, they're removing that first layer of skin. And although that can be good because your first layer of skin has bacteria and dry skin that we definitely do not want on our face, it's really good to still remove it, but still remove it in a easier and less harmful way. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and open the box. Super cute packaging. I love this pink, hence to why I'm staying with the pink theme today. Um, so I'm just gonna open it. And for exfoliants, I will tell you guys that you really do not need a lot because it will really harm your skin. So I'm just gonna take my two fingers. And literally just about that much is really all you need. Like, please don't put on too much. I'm just gonna go ahead, um, if you guys wanna see that. You can see that there's not a lot of particles and I know like my skin is brown and the particles are brown um, but there's really like not that much. Why don't you just rinse it off just to get it under my skin. Okay. It's 
smells really good. Um, so there is a fragrance to this. Some of her products have fragrances, but some of them do not. Products with no fragrance are actually a lot better for your skin. Um, fragrances cause, causes breakouts and irritation um, in your skin, and it actually irritates it a lot more because when you add a fragrance, you have to add serums that have things in them that are not great for your face. Um, this exfoliant does have a scent to it. Um, I guess it smells like walnuts. I don't really know. I don't eat walnuts, but uh, it smells like walnuts, so... I guess I don't know I still really don't know but the exfoliant feels really good I really like it also side note you should only exfoliate about two three times a week sometimes people confuse a face wash with an exfoliant and don't do that because you're running your skin dry and that is just not not good not good next we are dealing with the milk toner um, as you can see it's in this really pretty pink bottle all of her products are um, and this is the milk toner um i was told that it smells like vanilla milk um it does it smells so good i really do like the smell of it um it does have a fragrance obviously so it's not the best with your skin but the best thing about this toner is that there's no alcohol in it which means that it will not strip the moisture away from your face and it keeps it nice and fresh also this toner really from like the reviews that I've read, really dig into your skin and like bring out what's best in your skin. So I'm just going to go ahead, just put a little bit in the palm of my hands. It's like really see-through. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's pretty see-through, it's pretty loose. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little in on my face. I know like in the camera it looks like that my skin is super red, but it's really not. It's the lighting. I'm so sorry. Okay. I've got the toner on my skin, so now I'm ready to move on to the vitamin C serum. So next we're moving on to the vitamin C serum. And what I really like most about vitamin C is that all vitamin C products are meant to bring out the shine in your complexion. Um, of course, like we want the best of our skin to be front and center. Um, and with serums like this, it can definitely be possible. So we're just gonna open it. And so it's another pump. I'm gonna go ahead and smell it to see if there's another fragrance. Um, I think there's definitely a slight fragrance there, um, but we're just going to go ahead and do one pump. So I'm just going to put that on the tip. And we're just going to go ahead and just place it on our skin. Um, when you do a routine like this, it's really important that you don't use a lot of products because you don't want to overwhelm your skin. Obviously, you guys can see that I'm breaking out, and that's because of stress from college. So, thank you. I'm just trying to get out of here on time. Um, so, I'm just basically really just trying um, to really rub in the serum as much as possible. I really do like it. It's really, like, easy. And honestly, I like to keep certain moisturizers in my purse. So, this is probably something that I would do. On Mondays, I don't wear makeup. It's, like, my own natural day. So, I would definitely keep this on hand. All right, so once I have laid the foundations, we are moving on to the face moisturizer. So Kylie in her video also said that she was using this as a makeup primer, which means that the moisturizing is probably at a medium. Um, so you could probably also use this during the day and as a primer, but it's probably, probably not heavy enough for a night cream. Um, at night, you definitely need something heavier because your skin goes through a lot at night. Some people get really cold, some people sweat. Um, so it's really important to keep your skin moisturized at night. So we're going to go ahead and put this in. Okay, there we go. Finally got it. I'm just going to go ahead and just... Cute. 
If you notice when I put on these products, I usually just use these fingers. Um, sometimes products can leave access on your skin, which means that you're wasting money and product because it's not going on your face. So try not to use all your fingers so you can save as much product as possible. All right, so the last product that I have is the eye cream. Uh, the eye cream also has no scent as well as the face moisturizer that I just used. The thing that I like most about the eye product is that it has caffeine in it. Caffeine is listed as the fourth to last ingredient within this product. Um, they say caffeine is used to really wake your skin up, but since it's pretty last, like how much caffeine is really in it. I do like these tips on the products because that means I don't have to put it on my hands at all. Um, and then if you guys, I don't know if you guys can really see this, but the tint of the eye cream is yellow, which means that it'll help cover those spots, those dark spots. So I really do like um, these products, but there are some products that I would definitely tweak. There are some products that I would probably replace with the products that I have now, um, but some of them I would probably not use as my everyday kind of go-to. My favorite product is definitely the face moisturizer. I like it because it's basically a two-in-one. I can use it for my makeup primer and I can also use it for a daily moisturizer. Um, I also really do like the vitamin C serum. Um, like I said, it really brings out the best of your complexion and that's what we want. Natural beauty is definitely the way to go. I know we like to wear makeup here and there, um, but with that serum, a lot of us will feel more comfortable just going out there and just blessing the world with what God gave us. That is our face, that is on our skin, and it's absolutely amazing. I really did enjoy these products though. I hope you guys go out there and get them yourselves. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below, and I'll see you next week in my video.